Hello everybody, it's me Oracle back with some more content. In this video, I'm going to have a bunch of gameplay later on, but for now, this is the Darius Guide portion, in that, in this portion, I'm going to go over every single thing you need to know in order to play Darius optimally in Season 2024. First off, Summoner Spells. Here, you always go Flash and Ghost. There's no other option, there's no other choice. This is the most optimal pair that you can take. Now, if you're playing Darius Jungle, Smite Flash and Smite Ghost is more of a preference thing. I prefer Ghost Smite, but I also don't play Darius Jungle. <laughs> I just play him top, so just Flash and Ghost. Teleport isn't that good on Darius because although it does let you split push late game better, what it doesn't allow you to do is to have the power of Ghost to be able to just actually function in teamfights. Darius does not do well without Ghost in teamfights or in lane in a lot of situations. And without Flash, you really can't go for any sort of all play situation, so you can't basically win a lost situation. Like, if you're in a bad situation with Darius, you can always just go for like a flash Q, right? You can't do that if you don't have flash. So definitely always flash ghost. Ignite is a crutch. It's basically used by Darius players who, <laughs> who can't play lane. <laughs> so just use the cheese kills. So don't use it. It's not as much of a good scaler as ghost, okay? Up next, we have our runes. So for our runes, you're almost always taking conquer, triumph, and last stand, okay? Always we're taking um, the precision tree as our main. There are some people who think that phase rush is a tree that you can take, but honestly speaking, phase rush kind of sucks on Darius because to activate it, we have to get in range with the enemy, okay? But if we're able to get in range with the enemy to begin with, then like we don't really need phase rush, do we? It's only good if you're like, wanting to play against a specific matchup where you do need the fresh move speed or if you're playing against a team where if you hook something you want to just run around and dodge things but to be honest Darius is so immobile that if you are in position where phase rush is going to be useful you're very likely just going to get crowd controlled and killed and honestly just use ghost right you don't need the <laughs> like there's nothing about phase rush that works well with Darius because we already take ghost so phase rush doesn't work, and no, you can't use this to replace Ghost and then go for Teleport or Ignite. That does not work. We get Precision, Conquer, Triumph, Last Stand. Here, it's preference. For the vast majority of games, you're going Alacrity, but if you do need that extra bit of tenacity versus those really high CC comps, you definitely want to go for Legend Tenacity. Our secondary tree is a bit more... Um, there's a bit more of a choice here because we can go for Sorcery, Resolve, and in some cases, preference-wise, Inspiration. You mainly want to resolve because resolve lets you better prepare for the lane, okay? Now, in the resolve tree, you can basically use everything aside from these two, and I'll go into the use cases for all of them. So, demolish is for lanes where you know that your, your enemy top laner is going to roam a lot. They, they won't be in lane because, it, let's say it's a Shen and he ults away. What you want to do is shove to his turret and get as much gold as you can out of the lane, and demolish lets you do just that. It's also a good choice if you're going to be playing team fight. I mean, split pushy, but Darius is not the best split pushy champion, in my honest opinion. Although he can lay down a lot of meat and get a lot of kills through. Later on into the game, Darius just straight up loses to your typical split push champions 1v1. And also, Darius is more of like a team fighting character. He's got big abilities, he's got resets. So it's better for you to just use your Ghost Flash to get a triple kill in a team fight rather than spend it on the Jax who's just going to annoy you, right? So, definitely, definitely, definitely play more team fighting, which means that aside from a few matchups that do roam a lot, you won't be using Demolish all that much. Conditioning is good into free lanes, like a free tank lane, for example, where you just win by default. It gives you a bunch of resistances. Second Wind is a must have against um, ranged top laners or even top laners that have higher range than you, like an Aatrox, because if they have a higher range than you, you're never gonna. Like, they can just peel it off easily in the middle of a trade, right? Bone Plating is good for champions who like to go in and get a lot of hits out at once, or low-range champions. We're talking Set, we're talking Jax. Champions who don't just hit you once on run, they actually hit, go in, do something, and then they back off, you know? Riven also is a good um, champion to get this into. Overgrowth is a preference kind of thing, like conditioning. If you are in a free lane, you can go for Overgrowth and have a nice bit of health to work with. It's like... Do you want the extra bit of um, armor MR or extra bit of health? It's up to you. Revitalize is kind of underrated for Darius, in my opinion. But, and preference-wise, I do take it quite a bit, only because I like the extra healing. Although, you could 
theoretically just not go this and go for either of these two. Well, not this because you're too easy to take it, but you can go for overgrowth if you'd rather have the health instead of the healing. Now, the thing is, the Revivalist buffs your healing and your shielding by 15% when you're below 40% health, which means that your Sterak shields, your Death Stance heals, your Triumph, your Q heals, they're all going to get amplified by a decent percentage when you need it the most. So it's definitely something that I recommend more people to try out, and it can be helpful because I've had a lot of situations where I just barely died and only won because I could heal using my Q because of that kill. So it's not to be slept on, right? Unflinching is really good if you're into a heavy CC or a heavy slow team because unflinching does proc when you are slowed. So this thing can, against the right comps, give you that extra armor and MR into a lot of different sort of, like, every single thing that kind of slows you or CCs you is going to proc this for two seconds. So in a normal team fight, you're going to be slowed the entire time of CC the entire time, so you basically have that extra armor and MR the entire time, so it's really good. All in all, um, you're mostly going to go for second wind or bone plating up here, depending on a lane, and revitalize or unflinching, but you can always go for, let's say, if you don't have to face a high CC team, overgrowth and conditioning, or if you're facing a roam where you can go for demolish and conditioning to kind of have that um, turret killing power, but you don't necessarily need the bone plating for the lane, you can do that. Secondly, sorcery. I think sorcery is a bit of a skill rune, but not really so much so because it's useful in a very small portion of games, okay? First off, the sorcery tree kind of sucks for Darius, which is why phase rush is so bad. It forces you to stick to this tree where, basically speaking, the vast majority of this tree just sucks. All of these runes right here, aside from these three, suck. And don't give me some argument. Actually, if you can wait 60 minutes in a game, 180 is a lot. Yeah, if you're waiting 60 minutes in a game, the game is over. And you're getting one shot by the enemy ADC. So it's like... It's <laughs> just, you're only sticking to these three runes, and they're not good, they're just the least bad. Now these two, it's preference, but neither is really that good, and if you really need move speed, which is when you're going to be taking sorcery a second against like a team or something maybe, but even then, you can make the case that second wind is better, then we're taking celerity. Now the real reason that this tree is even usable is Nimbus Cloak. Nimbus Cloak is an insanely useful rune, where... On top of just the normal move speed you get from Ghost or maybe even Flash, you get an extra burst of move speed that can seriously make the difference. Because a lot of, let's say, ranged champions or whatever, have a lot of move speed themselves. So let's say you Ghost after a Teemo. If he activates his W or he has Flea for Work and he auto attacks once and he activates his W, he's going to have basically the same-ish move speed than, like, as you for a few seconds. And that allows him to get close enough to this turret where that kill is no longer that guaranteed. Nimbus Cloak changes that. The second someone is kind of within your hook range, you can just activate it and run up to them and land that hook, right? Extra, that extra burst of move speed is really, really useful. Now, the bad part is, ever since they made Ghost on 180 cooldown, Ghost now gives, I think, the lowest amount of move speed you can get from this, which is just 5%, which sucks. But it works well with Flash, at least. It gives you the full 25%. And that 5% doesn't sound like a lot, but it can make the difference. So if you can imagine yourself being in a match where you definitely need that kind of engage power, then Nimbus Cloak is useful, and you can go for Sorcery Second. Lastly is Inspiration. Inspiration is kind of trolly, right? But actually, no, they, <laughs> they removed everything that was useful from this. I think, uh, no, 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 Cosmic Insight is no longer useful. Scratch what I said about Inspiration. Back when Cosmic Insight still did, like, um, it gave you haste for everything, then it was worth taking this tree for, and you could go for a magical footwear to kind of, like, oh, it's an easy lane, I'm going to get 300 gold basically for free and 10 extra move speed. Then you could go for this, but Cosmic Insight being removed like that means that there's basically nothing in this rune that's actually that good on Darius, right? So, no, just, you're mainly going to resolve, and sorcery sometimes, but mostly just go resolve. And if you don't really know what to build into, or you don't really know your matchups that well, then I'd say just take um, take this page every game and swap to this if you're up against a range top. Get this if you're up against CC. Get this if you're up against a lot of CC. As for the stats here, 
Um, the top part always has to be attack speed, okay? Darius needs a tiny baseline amount of attack speed to function and do his stuff well. It speeds up your W, and it speeds up your auto attacks in between your abilities, so it's quite crucial for stacking things up, especially earlier on, right? Um, these two are a bit more preference. I think the bottom row is mostly going to be this, Tenacity and Soul Resist, because this comes into handy so often, you have no idea. Every single champion in the game has tenacity, okay? So... <laughs> Has has stuns and slows. So this rune stat thing is basically what I take into every single game because I run into so little games where the enemy has no CC or slow resist. Now, the scaling health is what you take when the lane is free. Just get a bunch of extra stats for free. And the flat health, the 65, is what you take when you want to fight your um, top laner and you want to win earlier on. It's like a... It's like armor and MR from before, where you take it if you want to brawl and actually win that early fight. And mind you, that 65 health does come into handy, and it is fight changing. It's just that I'd rather just have the tenacity and slow resist, but preference-wise, you can go both of these most of the time, right? Now, this is like the true preference thing. I've played around with the move speed thing here, but honestly, I've never had a situation where I'm like, oh, that made the difference. Where I've been, I've been in situations where this 5 AD did make the difference. So preference-wise, I think that the AD is better, but you can go for the move speed if you want it. So that's it for the runes. For the items, I'm going to go in-game and show you in the shop. Okay, we're in-game. Now, as a starting item, you go D-Shield into lanes where you're going to get poked a lot, and D-Blade into lanes where you're going to fight a lot. The stats on D-Blade are really insane. So if you're going to fight melee range at all, definitely pick this item up. However... The thing about D-Shield and D-Blade is that there are lanes where Doran's Blade is unusable into, but there are no lanes where Doran's Shield is just useless, because it works on you taking damage, whereas D-Blade works on you auto-attacking minions, and if you're up against like a ranged champion or a champion that punishes you for walking up to the wave, D-Blade is basically no sustain at all. So I'd say, if you're unsure, just go D-Blade. Now, for our main item, I'd say that Triforce is straight up the best choice. This item gives you a ton of damage to work with, and better yet, it gives us every single stat that we need. It gives us an abundance of attack speed, so we don't really need to get any attack speed and we can do our combos very comfortably. It gives us health, it gives us AD, which, is, which are both things that Darius loves. It gives us ability haste too, which was removed from Stridebreaker, which makes it so that we don't buy it as often anymore, right? So Triforce is very convenient, very nice, and... I think you'll find most Darius players building this. It just it pushes your carry um, carry power to the next level, because if you just build Triforce, you can straight up one shot ADCs and stuff. So if you build Triforce, you're level 11, you can rush that ADC down and just kill them completely from full health. Nextly, the next natural item that you're almost always going to build is Sterax Gauge. Sterax is way too useful of an item for Darius not to build. It gives you. Scaling AD, and it scales up to an insane amount. So let's just give him max level here. It gives us 75 AD, right? Which is an insane amount for just one item. It gives a, it gives a very solid chunk of health. 20 tenacity, which is super huge in this whole high CC kind of meta. And that shield is really nice. I know it decays over 4.5 seconds, but... Four and a half seconds is a very long amount of time. That's the duration of a Noxian Might. So, if you have Sterax, just look at how much it's blocking towards the end of the game, and you're looking at 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, right? This thing is crazy useful. And I heavily recommend that you get it basically second every single game. Now, in terms of structuring your build, right, we essentially go at least two Bruiser items, a third item that can be either Tank or Bruiser, and then the rest of the build will be tank, okay? Darius needs tank items. Otherwise, you get killed way too quickly because by the time you're at your third item, other champions start scaling their damage. So if you don't have tankiness or fedness, like if you're not fed, you gotta go for a tank third item, okay? You have no choice. You get killed way too quickly if you don't. Now, um, clear. for our third items, we have a bunch of bruiser items available to us. I'll go through all of them one by one. First off, Titanic Hydra is kind of a noob trap in my opinion. It's theoretically really good because it gives you that extra art attack, but it's just health and AD. 
it doesn't really give you any sort of durability. The wave clear is nice, but with Triforce and Sterex, I feel like we have, you know, we have enough AD to just wipe out lanes really quickly anyway, so it's really unnecessary for the wave clear. And in a lot of situations, because we're kind of trying to go for low health targets or squishy targets, our Triforce gives us enough damage to just kill them in one combo anyway, right? You just don't have the time to, like, let's say, um, we spawn a dummy here. In teamfights, no one's gonna let you just, you know, auto W, bam, 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 like, sit there and auto-attack the enemy. No one's gonna let you do that. They're gonna CC you, lock you down, and try to kill you, all right? With Triforce... Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it despawns me, pulling into the funnel. With Triforce, our damage is so high that we don't even need that to launch our targets. And, right, by building Titanic Hydra, you're missing out on a better, more durable bruiser item. You're missing out on a tank item. You're missing out on an item that could actually make you live long enough to do what you want to do as Darius. So, big noob trap item. I really don't like it. And I'll sometimes build it just for the fun of it, but I, would, I heavily don't recommend this at all. Up next, um, Strybreaker. I talked about how it's no longer our main item because it doesn't give ability haste. And the issue with the active of Strybreaker is that it's practically only useful in cases where you try to dodge one ability, okay? If you're near an entire team, right, let's say we have like a whole team here, if you're this range to be able to just activate like Strybreaker and get that move speed, let's be real, you're being stunned, you're being CC'd. When you're CC'd and rooted, your move speed is zero. So this item doesn't matter when you're in that kind of situation, right? It only works ideally, if you're one of one, let's say, against the Jax, and he jumps on your Counter-Strike, you activate this and you just run back. So you can kind of disengage from him without needing your hook for his um, Counter-Strike. And then you can actually use your hook to disengage against him when he goes up to know something like that, right? So it's basically only good when you're focusing on a specific ability or a specific thing to kite, maybe a Trundle or a Riven's Q or Fiora, maybe you want to put her in place. The main issue with that is that when you're building Stride, you're kind of building for the 1v1. It helps you win 1v1s that are essentially lost. But against a big team, it doesn't give you the damage that Triforce gives you, and it doesn't give you any mobility, any durability, right? So by building this item, we're essentially pigeonholing ourselves into you either go just Strybreaker first item, and without Strybreaker, our damage is really sorry. Even if you use Strybreaker, like for damage active like that, you do way more damage with Triforce, okay? So, I think Strybreaker isn't a bad item, it's just that there's no good point in our inventory to build it, and it's not worth sacrificing Triforce. And no, you shouldn't just build both, because again, Sterax is mandatory. And by our third item, okay, let's just put it in a way where it's more presentable, I guess. Sterax is mandatory. And by our third item, we need a tank item, or an item that is a bruise item, but it will make us more durable. Okay, we can't just go like Strybreaker for fun at that point. So, not a terrible item, but there's no room in our inventory for it. Okay, Death Dance is your go to third item if you're fed for many games. The stats it gives are really good. AD is good, the armor is amazing, and the ability haste is. It's a little underrated, but also it's just 15, so it's not that much, but it's a good amount. The main reason we're buying this is because of Ignore Pain and how every time you kill an enemy champion, it cleanses all that damage. So if you're fed enough to consistently get kills, this item pseudo gives you 30% extra tankiness, right? Which is crazy. And let's say you're in a big fight and you get Sterak Shield pop. While the Sterak Shield is popping, Death Dance will essentially kind of delay the damage. So it'll take a longer time to burst the Sterak Shield. And if you heal, the shield will kind of protect your health while it heals from the damage, right? So, Death Dance is a really good item on Darius, third item if you're fed. So, if you're kind of just balling and you don't really know what to go for, this is your standard option, right? Now, um, Sundered Sky is honestly not the worst option, but you're mainly going this into comps that don't have a lot of CC. Because, again, standing there and auto-attacking is nice in that, oh, I can just ghost up and like all of these champions one by one and have lots of healing. But in, pr in practice, you're not gonna be able to do that. Too much CC, too much range, okay? It's really good for one-shotting squishies. And especially with Triforce, you deal so much damage with it that it can really let you just destroy low health champions with just a W. So from that perspective, 
this is like our best damage item to buy and pair up with Triforce. And the healing does help because it's an extra bit of healing and it's kind of durability. But again, if you're up against a high CC team that won't just let you all attack people or a high range team where you can't even get a range to all attack without your Ghost Flash, then Sundered Sky is a little bit troll, right? Because if you're not going to get into range to all attack, it's just 450 health. Right, which can be torn through like tissue paper. So again, melee comps, low CC comps, that's when you go with this item. And only if you're fed. If you're not fed, don't even think about it, all right? An item that I really wished was really good, but honestly wasn't, is Spear Shojin. Now, Spear Shojin is really good on paper, but in practice, there's just no good point in our build to put it in, right? Because it doesn't give us any healing, any armor, any durability, you're really squishy if you're going for this item. And with Darius, if you're squishy, it really doesn't matter how much damage you do when you get killed in two seconds, okay? So it's a good item, right? Because you can you can kind of stack it up with multiple abilities. So if you just Q right here, oh, they changed that. Did they change it? It's stacking so slowly. Okay, they just keep changing it, but okay, because okay, I guess since it doesn't stack off of one Q, it's not good anymore. But let me just see if it does. One, two. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it stacks multiple times with one ability. It did before. Now the interface is a little bugged, I think, or maybe it stacks up like periodically. But I digress. So everything this item gives is really great. And it does increase our ult damage. It increases our bleed damage, our Q damage, our W damage. It increases everything except just straight up auto attacks. So it's a really good source of damage. But again, unfortunately, because it doesn't make us any tank here, this is not an item that you'll be buying most of the time, right? You just don't have the room in your inventory for an item like this. We barely have room for Sundered Sky, which like, you know, it, it doesn't make you as tanky as a Death Dance, for example. So this is not going to be good. Cleaver is only an option if you're up against a very heavy armor tank, right? Who is messing your team up. Now, the thing is, with how much damage backline is deal, I have not ran into a situation where... There's this one very heavy armor champion, but my backline isn't able to just vaporize them in three seconds while I hook them. And then I do like a 1k damage, 2 damage to just put them down, right? I very rarely run into this situation. But in the case that you do, it's a solid pickup. Or let's say you lost lane against a tank. If you rush Cleaver, you'll be able to beat them in the next all-in. So Cleaver is a good option against heavy armor tanks, but not a usually good option for most games. And again... Doesn't make any tank here, so it kind of falls into the same boat as uh, Shojin. Hallbreaker's trash, and I'd say that's it for this entire legendary section. There's a case to be made for going Guardian's Angel, right? It's not a trash choice, it's, it's a very specific choice, but essentially you're only going GA if you are in games where your life matters a lot, but also in games where your team actually is participating, because if your team just sucks, and you die, what's gonna happen when you revive? You're just gonna die again. And also, not a lot of people know this, but if you had Noxiumite before GA, it will just wear off. Like, it's four seconds long for the revive. So you can kiss your Noxiumite goodbye. You have to stack up all the way again. And because you're standing still for four seconds, it gives the enemy team enough time to regroup and focus on targeting you and killing you. So not an item I would recommend in most cases, but if you are going for like a match where you know, like, you're just gonna go in there, engage, start something, and then your team's gonna follow up, then it can be good, right? But very specific to the point where you're not gonna be doing it most of the time. Now, the thing with Kenpon Chainsword is that although we do like Execution's Calling, with items like these, you're just getting the anti-heal and not finishing it, because look, what do you get from finishing Kenpon Chainsword? The anti-heal doesn't actually get better, it stays the same. All right, so if you want anti-heal, just buy the anti-heal and sit on it until you can no longer build anything else because it's just stats. It doesn't have any active ability or any passive and the stats are okay, right? They're not as good as before, they're just okay. So 
I would heavily not recommend going Kimbang Chainsword earlier on unless you basically have no other choice, right? You can also just apply the same to other utility items like a QSS or something, or I don't know, like a Warden's Mail, a Bramble Vest. It's the same for all of them, all right? Now, tank items. So for tank items, we have a lot of decent choices. First off, Frozen Heart is an amazing choice against armor or AD damage dealers. It is perfect against auto attackers, especially because it slows their attack speed down. It's like that effect you can see on top of the enemy, right? And the best part about it is that it's so cheap. They're going to nerf it um, next patch, I think, to being 2.5k. But even so, this item is so cheap that if you really need to mess up or slow down the enemy AD's time, I mean, slow down the enemy AD's or auto attacker's damage significantly enough, this item is amazing. So definitely have it in mind if you're playing Darius. And I think this chains is good on paper because you can point it at one carry. Let's say they got a smolder, right? You can point it at them and then just reduce their damage by a significant chunk. 30% is like insane. But unfortunately, because of the state of the game, the champions that you do point this on deal so much damage. That 30% doesn't mean anything. They will kill you anyway, okay? <laughs> so the stats are decent. And the targeting thing is also decent, but I've not seen it make me tough to kill to that one enemy carry, okay? So just like a bit of a warning then. Up next, you then never go Iceborne Calling, and you can't because of Sheen, but don't go for this. Thormail is the same as Executioner's Calling. If you have Bramble, just sit on it. There's no need to finish um, Thornmail because you get the extra damage for the auto attacks, but <laughs> like, when are we counting on this damage when you're not like a Malphite with 7,000 uh, armor, I mean. Randuin's is great. It's basically what you get instead of Frozen Heart against crit ADCs or crit champions, and the active is kind of useful, but we're mainly getting this because it's really nice stat. It's 400 health, 55 armor, which is good, and it's 30% less crit damage to you, so it's really good against crit. And it also has that rock-solid passive from the Warder's Mail that it built out of. So it's definitely a great pickup if you're up against crit damage. Up next, um, Force of Nature. Force of Nature is a great option if you're up against sustained magic damage and not burst magic damage, okay? The thing is, this item takes a while to stack up, okay? Eight stacks, it doesn't stack up that quickly, right? It's going to take a while into the fight for this to stack up. And if you're up against, like, an... Evelyn or something, she might just one-shot you before the 70 magic resist like actually activates. Now, once it does activate, it's amazing. 70 magic resist is insane, and that 10% extra move speed works wonderfully with Darius, and it stays up as long as you're in the fight, and it's magic damage too. So everyone's doing magic damage with everything right now. So this thing stacks up faster than you think, but it's not the best against burst, right? Or if you're tanky enough to the point, or if you're, I mean, fed enough to the point where no one can quite one-shot you, then this item is pretty good. Up next, we have Spear Visage. If you have a healer on your team, you can go Spear Visage, but it just gets outclassed by Force of Nature for Darius specifically. And, it, and, 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 and the other case where you would need shielding... Okay, how do I explain this? So... Durability-wise, it gets outclassed by Force of Nature, and Burst Protection-wise, it gets outclassed by Kainic Rookern. It's only good if you're in games where you heal a lot, aka you have like a Soraka, a Yumi or something, but like even in those cases, I don't know, like it's just not good, right? The healing is very rarely consequential enough to change anything. This item just sucks right now, and I really think that they should kind of try to make it more usable, but if they do, then we're going to see Mundos and stuff just running around with this, so eh, it's just in an awkward spot, and I don't recommend using it. Speaking of, Kainic Rooker is the best magic resist item against Heavy Burst. So if you have a very Heavy Burst AP champion who can just one-shot you, this item is pretty good, and if you leave the fight for a tiny bit, it gets back up in 15, sec in 15 seconds, so it's good from that perspective as well. But in my personal opinion, the stats on it are... Okay, so it's 80 magic resist, which sounds like a lot, but Force of Nature gives you 70 extra on top of the 55, which is 125 magic resist from one item, okay? And it activates probably when you're at low health. So 
just think about it, okay? This one gives you the magic damage shield when you're high health, right? But this one gives it to you when you're at low health. So Force of Nature kind of aligns better with Darius's like play style in that it kicks in when you're having your Steric Shield pop, when you're getting your Death Dance heals, when you're about to go on your Dunk Fest and that one magic damage ability just landed on you and you might die, okay? That's when Force of Nature kicks in, which is why I think it's our preferred choice for magic, I mean, magic versus items. Damage Plate is a really good item, but only if you buy it third, or in some cases, second, okay? The move speed from Deadman's Plate is really game-changing. It makes so many things possible. It makes so many picks possible. It makes roams faster. It makes your life so much easier just to have this item. But the stats on it suck, okay? The stats on DMP, just compared to like um, a Frozen Heart, for example. Ability Haste, 70 armor, and it slows down attack speed, and it reduces the auto attack damage. This, 45 armor. It's a decent amount, but kind of mediocre, and only 300 health. So, it's not too great stat-wise. It's not too great durability-wise. You're mostly getting this second item, so you can shove waves and then join fights faster. But, if you're getting this fourth, only get it if you know your move speed is going to make a difference, okay? If you aren't, I guess, good enough to make use of the move speed, or if you are in a game where it doesn't really matter how fast you are around the map, like, you can just show up to the fight and carry it anyway, then Deadman's Plate is a bit of a waste. You're better off just going for a durability item. Like, I've had so many cases where I die really quickly just because I had this and not a better durability item. But a trio of Triforce, Sterax, and DMP like this can be really nice instead of a, um, a Death Stance, for example, because this can get you around the map and this can get you into the fights and get you to carry them. So it's preference, right? You can go this item third. There are some... Darius players who go for DMP second, right? After the Triforce or after a Strawbreaker so that they get that move speed from just the beginning. But I feel like Sterax is way too useful to just delay it. So if you're going to go DMP, go for it like this. And then maybe you can go for a Death Stance fourth item after you get like a Quadra Kill or something. But let's be honest, you're mostly just going to build tank, tank after this point anyway. Arceal sucks. Warmox sucks. Jaksho is essentially the old Gargoyle stone plate, right? Instead of the shield, we just get the increased um, resistances. So if we go for a setup like this, for example, let's take some damage here. Oh, I turned off the turrets. Let's turn them back on, right? Okay, it doesn't count that as combat. Fair enough. <laughs> just give me a second here, all right? Uh, the whole video is coming apart. As I was saying, if you're in combat with enemy champions, the amount of magic resistance you can get from this item can be great. But you should only go for it if you already have <laughs> a solid amount of bonus armor and magic resist. If you don't have that, you're not going to make as much use of this item as you think you do. And like, that's why it's not a good early option, right? You're never getting Jock Show third item. You're mostly getting it as your last item to give you that insane amount of durability that you need to survive, okay? It's great for stats, but I feel like it's better used on the more, you know, resistance stacking tanks, although Darius can definitely use it as well. Aside from these two categories, you don't really use anything from any other tree. You can go like a Knight of Out if you're inting and you want to be useful to your carry ADC. No mage items, no assassin items are useful in Darius, and definitely no marksman items. That's basically it for Darius' items. Oh, the boots. <laughs> I forgot about the boots. Okay, so in terms of boots choice, you really have two choices for your most games. Merc Treads and the Playstation Caps. Merc Treads are amazing into high CC teams or teams where they slow you, but they only... It's not a sustained slow, like an Ash or something, or an Ivia Ultimate. It's like a... An ability that slows you, okay? If you're up against an annoying high CC team, definitely pick up a Merc Treads. Now, a mistake I see a lot of people making is they build Merc Treads in lane against like a Nikali or a Rumble. And in that case, don't do that because, okay, so we have 25 magic resist on this, and this also has 25 magic resist. What are we paying for? The move speed and the tenacity, okay? So if you really want to build something to be durable against magic damage, go for a like go for this, right? Go for this 50 magic resist for 900, which is really good for the price you're paying for. 
and just keep the boots and don't go for merc traits unless you need it against the enemy team anyway. Tabis is great. It is really insane how much this item does in terms of protecting you against attack damage, right? I feel like if it had an indicator as to how much it's reduced, people will build this item way more, but because it doesn't, <laughs> people still build it a lot. So just build it as much as you can. It's great as first option into some of the more brawly attack lanes. It's amazing into a lot of situations too. So yeah. Now Swifties is a, de a decent option sometimes as well. Now you're going Swifties in some specific range matchups where it's really important that you land that hook. You're going Swifties into high sustained slow teams. Against those teams, this item will save your life. But, but the durability that you get from Merc Treads and Tobbies is so important. Well, Tobbies is the old name for play steel caps. So just, just so you know, the amount of durability that you get from play steel caps and Merc Treads is so insane that you will straight up just find yourself getting killed way more quickly if you go for this item, okay? It's no, it's noticeable, you die faster. So it's doable if you need it for the lane and without it, you wouldn't have gotten those kills, but heavily weigh your options, okay? Because sometimes you might just get one shot in the team by bringing ADC really quickly with auto attacks in a situation where you wouldn't have gotten one shot and you would have gotten the kill had you had Ninja Tabi. And definitely, by the time late game rolls around, rolls around, definitely sell this, okay? Swifties is an early game-ish item, because later on, you don't need that move speed anymore, okay? You just need to be tanky, because you're going to get one shot so quickly. In terms of elixirs, it's your preference, Iron or Wrath, it's really up to you. And I'd say that is that for items, there's not really much else to talk about. One more thing. I'm going to release a Darius, or I have released, I'm recording this before that, but that will be up by the time I release this. I have made a Darius matchup tier list video where I talk about every single matchup in top lane, what to watch out for, how to fight them. So for matchups, go check that video out. I'll link it in the in the comment section, right? And also for Darius combos, I will link in the description my combo guide video where I teach you how to do every single combo and mechanic on Darius and how to practice them. So yeah, those are your resources right there for you to use if you want to get more specific. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you boys in the next, well, match, since there's going to be a lot of Darius matches in this video as well. Bye. All right, we're back from gameplay. We're up against Twisted Fate Top again. Going to be super duper duper fun. Not. <laughs> AMT's looking quite uh, annoying. Gragas and Diana and TF have a lot of, uh, well, not the Diana, she just has her ultimate. But these two have a lot of annoying CC. And the Zerilu are going to be quite tough for me to get my hands on, so... We're kind of going to be playing either anti-Diana Engage, or we're playing Flank. I don't see any other possible playstyle here, because... Like, I can't front to back properly, right? I have to essentially bait someone in. Because if I front to back, I get CC'd and I get killed, like, instantly, right? And I can't also, like, um... Yeah, there's so many things that we just can't do. Man, this sucks. We have to essentially wait for the loot to start using our abilities and then go in, I suppose. One thing's for sure, being fed would help, but we're not going to be very easily getting fed this match because of the matchup. Eep. I'll try our best to help the Elise, though. If she lands her cocoons, we can make ganks work every time. That's a big if, though. Eh? I'll give it a big ol' leash here. That's significant. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See, I knew he'd flash that. With overwhelming Good. Now he has no flash to work with. Let's get a level 3. If I get a hook, I can cheese together a kill.
Don't think a hook's happening, we're pushing too much. And he gets level 3 as well. We gotta get this shoved in. Guys, just getting the best levels all the time. Nice. I just needed to get the hook, like the, I need to get the flash key on the hook before he gold carded me, and we did it, and we got the kill. So perfect. <sighs> I feel really bad about. Okay, so I don't think that's my fault, right? But, that doesn't stop me from feeling worse for my jungler, who is a jungler that needs to get ahead early to get stuff done. So yeah, it just sucks. I don't know what homeboy is doing here. Bro. Like, it's 4v2. Chillax. Never retreat. Hmm. If he goes Berserkers, I'll go for Swifties here. the best at kiting. Can I get this? The, the shield is off. Good stuff, good stuff. Gonna go for a face here. Should get the move speed. Then some attack speed. Went for a recurve, but when was back at first? Yeah. We're doing well so far as a team. Vex with two kills, me with two kills. These are just solos, but <laughs> we don't have an assist. Every kill is a solo kill this match. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I should be able to help the Elise out if she goes for this. Though it might be awkward if they get the Lulu here as well. But we have the Vex who can get there with our ultimate like ASAP. So I'm not too afraid. I should have stopped this push. There we go. I kind of messed that up with my hook there. He also ulted, so that's perfect. We get his ult and a ghost. Good stuff. I think I'm getting Swifties. The main idea is... I j okay. I definitely will get it this game, but be I'm hesitating because I want him to buy boots first. Because if he buys... If I buy Swifties and then he buys Swifties too, that just cancels it out. That cancels the move speed advantage out. But he's not buying Berserker's Greaves, which I, like, expected him to. So, it's not working out. He should have his flash up soon. So, yeah, let's hook. And then get his flash out first, and then... Body him! I, I know I procced my E there. My destination is clear. Okay. 
<laughs> he flashed and got killed like that, holy. He does not respect hook range at all. And one thing, if you're playing a ranged top laner, please get better at cancelling your attack animations. And that's one of his mistakes, he's not cancelling them fast enough, so it gives me more leeway too. Land a hook. I'm just pretending that Elise is here. Is he gonna chase? He should. Yeah. I'll help her, but I am in death range. Let me get some double Qs off here. Alright, I'm gonna recall. Should we back at them to collect one wave? And he wins Swifties. Now we go Swifties too. Or one Triforce too. I think it's important enough to delay Triforce. I'm not fighting other people anytime soon. Stay alert. Good stuff. Wait, what? He's 398. Th oh, he went Celerity. Yeah, that makes sense. I went for Second Wind and Revitalize because I wasn't sure who was top lane. I thought it'd be Gragas top, TF mid, and Dana jungle, but it's TF top. I will not that puts a bit of a spanner in the works, not gonna lie. Will he be... We need to work harder to catch our... Hooks, basically. <laughs> Let's shove this out. I could freeze. I could have also just flashed on him, but he's 0-5, so I'm like... I kind of want to just cheese kill him with a hook. We could just shove this recall and get Triforce instantly, too. We're giving up a bit, but he's ADTF, and his wave clears isn't enough to punish... Me prematurely shoving this. Don't know where he is. I do not tolerate cowardice. All right, back top. Surely they can handle themselves down there, right? Because Vex is ahead. Who got their bounty? Oh, Gargus. That's fine. If the Diana got her bounty, like Diana can't one v nine, but Gargus can't one v nine. I mean, I guess he theoretically can help his team, but he's more of like a supportive champion that kills like one person, whereas Diana is a champion that kills like everyone, right? Alright, if I can get a kill here, I can I get the turret, so maybe it's worth for us to just flash it on him. They're all bought, so I can go for this turret here. Actually, no, he can ult at me and kill me. Except for me to recall. Yeah, his ult stops me from taking the turret because I don't have health. Uh, I have the health to stay. Good dive. We get even more powerful, so we can kill me even faster next time. Uh oh. She's dead. She's dead. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. I'll go pick up this wave. Never retreat. I thought she was going in there, but it's fine. I'll go in. Where'd she go? All right, whatever. I'm gonna just shove and get the turret platings. No TP, that's fine. Grag has flash for the Elise there, too. I messed that up. Haha. <laughs> 
I need the health here. Should get him. Yeah, we got him. We're, we're, we're. What? How did she bypass my hook there? Nice, that was a little plate player. It's fine, I can tank all of the damage and she can just chill. Oh, Gragas not here, good. Get it for free. Perfect, let's get our Sterex. Should be a quick pickup. Man, I'm so glad the Vex actually worked well with the swap. She got the turret too, with the help of Brom. I do not tolerate cowardice. I'll go back top and make some space. We need this objective, and I'll be there for it. But because she's working so well with me, she could just go top and act naturally and win this situation. I could just stay, stay mid, get the turret, get the kill, get the kill, get the dragon, just all this good stuff. Now we are taking all the kills, so that might be a bit problematic on a team scale, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Please, just let him die. <laughs> it's not worth. Dying for it at least. Yeah, yeah, good, good call. They're gonna just kill me. I have my orders. Uh oh. <laughs> good call, good call. Whoever warned me first. Get some metal, dude. My destination is clear. Or deserves one, at least. Well, you get the Gragas instead of the Lulu. <laughs> this is not, the, not a bad target, not a bad target. No one. I'll get the wave. Ugh, we're losing bot. I'll shove this out and just click the wave up here. It sucks that we didn't get the Herald. But because I don't have sums, I'm not comfortable fighting that Sitch. Uh oh. They're getting themselves killed. Of course. Let's just run down here, see what we can do. Exploit every weakness. <laughs> Man, being fed on theirs is a trip. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this is not fair, man. We're literally running around killing everything and everyone. I'm gonna get some magic resist and then go for demand's play. This DMP. I'd say this is a good use of my sums. Not the best use, but as good as it could possibly get. Because they they really disrespected me there by stepping up like that. Well, I mean, I kind of messed it up too. I ulted the Diana accidentally instead of the Lulu. If I ult the Lulu, she's a, she's dead like that, right? And then I can kill a Diana too. So I misplayed that definitely. Also, this Zeri's wall jumps are not amazing, but I'm just trash at expecting them, you know? <laughs> Corey 
corpse delivery. <laughs> like this body just appeared <laughs> there. <laughs> Ugh. All right, I don't have my R, so let's just go bot and help with the dragon. I gotta just stay with the team so that they don't get killed. I'm so strong that if Diana Gragas get even like mildly in range, I can just vaporize them. Get it, bro. I won't tell anyone. I promise. My orders. And dead man's plate would be very much useful here. They got them on their, on their own. Let's get their Drake then. I'm tempted to just recall him by force of nature, but the better move would be to try to just farm up the DMP and get the move speed ASAP. One big, like, weakness in my game right now is that although we're moving really well around the map, and I'm actually quite happy with how we're playing, the mistake is that we're not quite fast enough to be where we need to be, right? Not every time. So, we might get into a situation in the future where, you know, that might actually cost us to die, or our teammates to die. She warded the grump. Above all. Okay, she's going to the... They're, they're trying to cheese the Baron. I have to stop this. If Varus can ult someone, I can kill them. Ah, my ghost is just dead. That sucks. Let's try to get the Zeri then. Pretty sure she just kills the Elise here quickly. He's just three stack killer there. Oh my god. Whew. Good. Let's get the next wave. Actually, I can recall, get the MP, and run back in. Good. That kill is what I needed exactly. Finally. We'll not be so fast that we can catch up to anyone or anything. I don't need to just waste my ghost to engage. I'm low-key worried that we might get the Baron stolen from us. <laughs> nice. Wish the Grag Assault. Okay, Elise with a solo kill, and she didn't even take any damage. <laughs> she just killed him instantly. Noxus Good. Uh, we got ult in 15, so she'll be able to like, start carrying fights then. Okay. I didn't think that would land. The lease is almost dead, so we can't start Baron. Oh. I don't know about this. Let's do it, I guess. Down instead. He should have ulted earlier. No. Oh. I just hate that we wasted my Zeri pick essentially. Yeah, no, let's get out. I got Ghost up soon, so I can use that to get some work done. It's a 
flash. Diana split pushing. Let's just force it. God, <sighs> no one's making any plays. I got caught up in the stupidity. I guess we're giving up in him. Oh, yeah, got that bounty too. We get the Baron at least, but okay, they can recall by the time of in him, or at least Vex can. Someone thinks my sacrifice was good. And the bright side, the Zeri doesn't get my 1k. That's the one thing I'm happy about in that situation. Let's go farm, get our level 16, and then keep cooking. I gotta play better, man. Like, I kind of lost my head in that all in. You guys noticed? I just started panicking at some point, hitting anything that can come close. That Q also was not enough, bro. Well, let's go get the turret, since our team's busy getting slaughtered. What I get third? Um, death dance probably. Five hundred move speed. With overwhelming force. Pick the good pick there. That's no good. Please tell me he doesn't kill the virus. Oh, he does. That sucks. We chase too much. Yeah, TP in. We push. Get some stuff. Something out of that at least. I do not tolerate cowardice. <laughs> Tell me she doesn't just fight and die here. That would not be bueno. I'm running up here too. <laughs> TF just gets himself killed. Okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> just 
<laughs> running around the map, killing everyone. I think I can go to death stance here. I'll get this waving glue for it. Okay, the good part is we're so unbelievably, unfathomably fed that, you know, we can just destroy everything. But if we int like once or twice, I don't know if my my team is fed enough to actually win the game without me in the driver's seat like this. So I seriously have to be very critical with how I play and not just get myself killed. I should stop farming actually, I'm full build. This at least. Make no mistakes. <laughs> nice. Okay, got my flash at least. Can go for a pretty sick engage with the Vex. We did this so quickly. <laughs> God. <laughs> Never mind, the team was solid enough to do their jobs. Nice. GG. <laughs> Complete 1v9. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back with some more gameplay. I hesitate to call it gameplay because we're up against Twisted Fate top with Play Footwork, Ghost Flash, and they got a Zillion and an Ash. Uh, try to go for a move speed stuff so I can catch him better, but... We'll see if that even helps out. Probably not going to, but, you know, anything can happen in this wonderful, mystical game of League of Legends. Ugh. Including a 0-4 Twisted Fate with Kraken Slayer solo killing me. Hmm. Will rise. Riot Games and their incessant buffing of stupid stuff. He's getting nerfed next patch, so that's good. Should definitely cut this tumor out of the game. In terms of our role this match, I am not so sure. Because we definitely can't go for a standard build. We'll just get invalidated and chopped up. But maybe we should just so that we can like pop off with a flash and then just get back to <laughs> being useless for a while. Who knows? Not me. I never lost control. Your face. <laughs> Just farming for now. Never retreat. That's his ward gone. It's almost like you're hysterically stupid. I do not tolerate cowardice. I don't know. I, I don't mean to insult this guy, but I really just can't respect 
playing this setup. Make no mistakes. Okay, let's go boots and then some health. He didn't flash there. Guess he knew he was gonna die. But yeah. He still has his flash, I mean. I, will not rest. I mean to say. Okay, <laughs> let's get in here. What a mess. Is that Lee Sin? I didn't even recognize his animations, dog. Just survive, just survive, just survive, just survive. Okay. We are popping. My destination is clear. Uh, yeah, I'll let him have it. I don't think Rebuff's gonna heal us to the point where we can kill the TF. He also has a flash up on us. I was really tempted to just hook and kill him there, but again, we're flash down. He has a big wave. We probably just get killed. Such a cheesy kill. We have so much more move speed than him that we can that, that we can actually just straight do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ruthless mode. I don't know why he didn't flash there though. He could just live, no? I guess because I had slowed him with my auto attacks and because I have more move speed than him, I just keep up with it. Maybe that's why he didn't flash. Maybe he did flash at some other point and I didn't see. Who knows? Who indeed? Orders. I should be able to kill him here again. Once I get my ultimate. Oh, he ran. They saw me. This is warded. Never retreat. Just air humping the sky. <laughs> I do not tolerate cowardice. Now this is a bit of a mess because we weren't supposed to be the carry, but I guess we just thrust upon the position of one. There's a ghosted there. Good. Just not used to this <laughs> being fed in this lane. Mm. Don't think he's that experienced at this matchup. You could tell with his kiting early game that he's like filled or something for sure. I will not rest. Not even close, baby. That was a convenient Karthus R. Also, I knew that he was going to be in the bush to try to get level 6, which is why I, like, went for that. Because it's the only move available to him. 
He, he, like, he has to either stay here and just farm with Q, or if he's trying to be clever, he's going to go for that. Uh, I bet that he would try to be clever, and my bet my worked out. Also, isn't this bigger? Use my... Nope. What is it? I didn't think I had glowing motor ready, but I did, so... I would not have gone for that Q. But I guess it wouldn't matter, because he just had his E straight after. Oh. Strength above all. You don't want to get the cannon there. I have my orders. Huh. That's the that's quite the annoyance. Never retreat. That's 50 damage. ADTF Pog. Carve a path. An enemy has been slain. On the one hand, I like the double kill. On the other hand, it's on Janna. At least Smolder gets the assist gold. <laughs> Let's get away. All right, cool. accepted his death. I knew they had nothing up because they just got killed by my robot lane. So I could just go for that easy double kill. Ugh, good stuff, good stuff. God, if I had mana, I would just try to kill him here straight up. <laughs> if I had mana for one W, I'd do it. Promise. I just didn't. Is this really that effective? Everyone's building it. Like, you, you like. I, I feel like Lee has decent wave clear on his own. No, right, homie's just dead. Oh, he missed time that. He missed time that. But Janna came in time to help him. Bye bye. Destination is clear. Oh, some mid plates. Strength above. They seem free. I'll go for them. That was me when testing there. Not successfully. But... Eh. I mean, if he... I, I thought he would int and let me land the Q. Because I was just all attacking him there. And he was like, oh, okay, what is he going to do, right? And then surprise burst kill him. But that didn't work out. He avoided it. 
like you should have. I have my orders. <laughs> That's what she's doing is kill her. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Never retreat. <laughs> she's dead. No. The hump W combo. Hump is corpse, W last hit. Classic. Pretty quiet, they aren't going for anything, obviously, because they just get killed, so they can't go for anything. Yeah, I hope this one's a quick F15. Can go on to the next more fun match. <laughs> Stay alert. <laughs> I just straight up have no win condition. <laughs> and we have Vagar Smolder. <laughs> Surely they just have F15. Oh no, it's winnable, guys. My uh. destination is clear. Does he get away? Hope so. Pick this up. Uh oh. Shirelia's Vagar. Oh, he can actually kill the Vagar there. Never mind. That's what you call. I'm gonna go for a Sundered Sky. <laughs> Just so that I can pop squishies better. I'm gonna be loving those 1000 damage W's. Tasty, tasty. Uh oh. Little dragon's about to die. Never mind, he lives. He yeah, should have taken the portal there. Though I think we don't reach in time to participate. And to keep just getting kills because we're super fed. We're going to vaporize half a team. But if we don't keep getting kills. Like, they're constantly scaling, right? So if we, if we don't keep getting kills, then it might not be doable for us to vape our staff a team. I have my orders. Ew. Got a good flank here. Definitely some potential kills. Seriously. I gotta recall ASAP. Ooh. Okay. Either he doesn't have R or just didn't use it. Good kills, but not the best use of my sums. We should just Herald here. I guess I should have taken that since nobody else has taken it. Man, I can't wait to see how we pop them with this bad boy.
Yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot to pick it up. I think Empower Recall should show up here. Like instead of the normal recall, just put that icon there. It look cool. Alright, gonna go for the mass plate and then force of nature. Okay, we got caught here. Stay alert. Lee went in? Alright, he's out at least. Okay. This is looking cheesy. My destination is clear. Thank you. I'm surprised I could not stay in my auto range there. I should just insta W and go for an auto W. So my W, I can land my Q. Not a good state of health to be at. Their team straight up, like, fundamentally counters me, though. So I can't be a bit brazen with my movements. Suck on that! <laughs> I'm charging! We just get the charge off, right? We're not gonna fully commit. Uh, uh, not, 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 not good. Not good. Not good. At least they can't re-engage on us. They did, and they died. Uh, who's up? Just the Ashika. Okie dokes. I just want a bit of CS so I can get my dead mass plate. match so far you feel safe around me don't you little guy don't you I'll protect you how's that for a ward Walk on him, bro. Uh, he got to go just the range for the move speed. I do not tolerate cowardice. I'll push this out. Should have ghosted up there. Or engage. I feel like I just have to engage. I will not do it. All right, let's, let's just bear. Okay, thank you for your 200 shield. I feel quite safe. Are 
seems to get Baron off us. God. I will hunt you down to the ends of the earth! Stay alert. YouTube boy. When <laughs> we wipe them out, let's get an inhib at least. Or two. Force of Nature is definitely next on the shopping list. <laughs> Shield yourself, dog. You're like... <laughs> Oh, let's see. Bite up more than chew here. Okay, let's just let's let's go, let's go, let's go. We did well for now. I'm just covering our retreat. Not too happy with my flash play there. I should have gone for the zillion first. Because Ash is easier to catch than him. Should be top, not here. Push that out. I need my level 16 ASAP. What is that? Is that the, 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 this thing? Their whole team was just conveniently a red buff. Nice. Oh, yeah, right. Thank you. Ugh. You're right about that, Vagar. They're playing this like their lives depend on it. That's the case. Someone's dying. In game. Well, once I have his summons back up again, I should be able to just crunch him down. Tama, crunch the numbers. I should be a bit more ruthless than usual, because I feel like I'm giving them leeway, just so I can, like, agreed for a better play by giving them leeway, right? Like, I don't hook instantly. I don't do stuff instantly. I go for extra kills. I should be going for, like, more secure, safe-ish things. Never mind, my, my team just wiped them out. <laughs> and we end off that. Cool. I'm already strategizing. <laughs> why, why is his hair like that? <laughs> I swear, dude, they didn't even care about... Like how these champs look? How is that Lee Sin? Oh, it does. Well, that's that. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Alrighty, we're back from our gameplay Orpheus Rumble. He's running Ghost and Ignite, so he's gonna be quite dangerous in lane. We have to make use of our flash intelligently, or th things can get a bit rough. It's gonna be hard for us to maneuver like, outmaneuver him, which is what we need to do with our ghost, but... Again, Flash should be quite helpful in this lane. Now, um, the enemy team is looking like a team that we can sort of deal with, but we have to be really fed first off, and I think we gotta have, like, very decent mobility, because even though they don't have, like, a like an ADC to DPS us down, they have one really frightening, um... 
CC, right, with this back line. And two, their front line deals a ton of damage on their own, and it's mixed damage. So we can't just go for magic resistance and cover all bases. We've got to go for both type of resistances to be able to be truly tanky against everyone. Strength In any case, level. let's just see how it goes. This lane will determine whether we can carry this game or not. And even if we can't, if the Azir gets going, I think we've got a good chance to win here. Okay, he has a basically a f full meter already. Oh, that's supposed to be your weakness. Oh, what? You didn't go flamethrower? Alright. Gotta give him his space. Don't get hit by those things for free. <clears throat> okay, I'm chilling. He gets level two. Tick, tick, dead. <sighs> it's very important what I did there in that when I ghosted I had to just run away from him and not fight his uh, passive his passive gives him not his passive but the like the increased amount of all attacks he gets because we just fought him straight up face to face he would actually full HP kill us we'd kite up we avoid it and then we go back in to kill him that's what you do against the big rumble hope the Rango doesn't get cheese here Gonna get health and walk like this straight into the jungle. Although he seems this okay. The Yuga doesn't seem to be around, so we don't need to get there ASAP. We just need to get to top lane. He used both his sums, so if we start to fight melee range, we should be able to kill him. Like I hook him back in and then we body him, but I still have to be careful. This champion is ridiculous. Ridiculoso. I'll just let him get the wave. No reason for me to just risk my health bar here doing anything. Better not fight him there. Bro. Bro, what are you doing? He literally just wasted his own flash for nothing and made me miss out on all that CS. God, you're such an animal. The thing is, if he lands that backwards Bola, I do catch up and kill the Rumble. So I can respect the idea. It's just, you know, it's a kind of idea where if you don't execute it properly, it's just like, you know, it just looks stupid. But good try, I guess. At least he's out alive. That's good. And he's got Sir Dirk. Don't know where the Rombro is though. Stay alert. Let's slow push this in. He recalled. Okay. I should have probably hooked him there. I got a big enough wave to mess him up. Messing the hook was not good. Alright, good. He's gonna shove that in two seconds. <clears throat> I'll try to play back, honestly. We get ghost up soon, so that's good. I smell a jungler. Oh, 
I did my best. If I don't land that second Q, I don't win a 2v1. But we do win the 2v1 in that we get a kill at least, so... Eh, please don't get hooked. Oh my god. My destination is clear. What is wrong with everybody? That was gross. The lane's fine, it's just, like... <laughs> you're running away. Okay, so there's no way they catch and kill the Viego there. Right? It's just not realistic. What is the rumble doing? It should be a kill for the Uzir. Bro, <laughs> what is... Dude, this Rengar has to be, a, like, an ill patient or something. So it's my bad that Viego Gangtier got stuff done and you did nothing. Even though I won the situation and I almost even killed the Viego himself. Like, what is this stupidity? Uh. Rakan's still top. I could actually want to be on there, but Rakan being there made it impossible. Not good. I hate losing my flash there, but I thought I could maybe win the sitch with a double Q. The Ignite kind of messed that up. I do not tolerate cowardice. Well, not the best match so far. He was also fed. Let's be careful of Rumblar. Okay, I'm just gonna shove, shove, shove. He seems to be perma pushing. Here. Yeah, so still mid if Vigo's not coming around. <coughs> yeah, Bowen's getting messed up by this thing, man. I think I can almost get this turret. Just barely. Well, not just barely. We just comfortably get it, but... Before we get any threats up here. Okay. Yeah, homeboy's spending a lot of time up here. Eesh. Gotta use our ghost to survive. I was tempted to go back in, but because he deals a lot of damage, doing so would just end up in me dying to the Viego. I'll probably kill the Rumble, but I still die to the Viego there, so My not good. Clear. Let's see. I'll ping him missing because everybody <sighs> insists on dying every time he's around. So you're doing well. Bro. I don't know where they are. I'm gonna push up. I have my orders. I'll just shove hardcore.
Okay, there's nothing up here for me to camp Viego on. So let's stick around to see if there's any gank opportunities in the Yasuo, at least. I'll go for it, I'll go for it. Yep. He's dead. Okay, we got him, we got him. Guess we're going back top. I low-key... <laughs> I'm tempted to just solo these. I'll just ward it for now. Let's get the shove out and then... Get back down here. We have our sums coming up soon. So we can go for something at least with them. So that did a bunch of damage, didn't it? Let's go, let's go. Sure, that's a kill for the Rengar. Good. I'm gonna just keep pushing here. I know it's a bit rough and risky, but I'd rather anyone joining this situation come up here. Instead of going down to bot lane. Okay. Not a bad death because he somehow had that massive of a bounty. Bad in that I died to him, but holy, that's a lot of gold. More than I expected. Let's get a thing of magic resist. Build this into Tabis. So the minion damage actually <laughs> did do something there. And get our tunneler. Didn't use his bolt, so I have to be wary of that. Bro, he did not do damage there with that second Q. I'll stay mid. Chill here against the Yasuo. Should be able to maul him, he has nothing. What's at top? We're responsible for shoving basically every single lane now. Are they doing this? He's moving up here, so... <laughs> Not feeling quite safe. My destination is okay. Bad pathing for me. Should have known that they would have gone on me there. Not an easy game. They just move around the map way better than us. So we gotta kinda try to circumvent that, but I don't think it's possible. Let's just shove this out, get our level 11, and try to move up here. But I'm thinking, I think they're gonna get slaughtered. I'm not gonna lie. Cheezer with Ash. Nope. Uh -huh. I'm, I thought we could just pick her, but I guess I'm back going back top. I do not tolerate cowardice. Can't wait to fight the Viego and the Rumble here. Oh, is this the reason I showed up in first place? 
crazy. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. He flashed. Okay, that could be a lot of kills. It just is a lot of kills. Holy! Man, getting the vehicle there instantly was really trivial. Really, not trivial. <laughs> really important. Now, I should have just ulted the Yasuo there. Which is a bit of my bad, but also not really because they killed them there instantly anyway. Whereas my ult helped them put the rumble down too. So overall, very good fight from us. We wiped their whole team. Aside from the Rakan, I guess, who I don't know if we killed or not. Doesn't matter. Don't know. He can recall, she can farm that, I'll farm this. Or he can. No? He's recalling, yeah. Uh, I gotta swap out the stealth wards for, I think, blue wards? <laughs> it just eats the damage. Alert. <laughs> it's not even, like, nearly a deterrent. Yeah. Who knew that that wouldn't work? Who knew? What a surprise. I got my sums. Okay. Dude, I can't catch anyone. Too low move speed. Come on, dog. Let's see, sure then. Okay, this is a bad situation. If they engage on us, we can be messed up here. Yeah. <laughs> Some nice footwork there. Let's leave, get the top wave. We get our Starks off that. My destination is clear. My only regret is not getting more kills in that dunk fest, or potential dunk, dunk fest. I should have just flashed onto the Seraphine. But on the other hand, we got the objective, which was the turret, right? So we got not as many kills, but we did get the objective, oh, English objective, which is good enough of a victory. They're balling everyone down there. I can go for this turret here. Okay, Azir is carrying. Nice. I have some space to actually get this. Okay, got a recall here because they can just cut me off. If I keep going, I'm dead. If I go back, I'm dead. Can they even do that? I think it's possible. I'm going to try to run up there and see if I can blue ward it. A little bit of anxiety there from us. I think I straight up kill him. But he's not gonna let me do that, so let's just get the wave first and then back off. That's a good pick. He teleported. Uh oh. Good. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, nice. Good, good, good. They just got hunted down. That was a pretty sick Azir R to save their anger. Let's get the inhibs. Okay, 
explode. This is your small V9. Good stuff. No, you won't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here before we get killed. We got a good setup for Baron. Can't get this red buff. I don't really care who takes it because we all get it. I really love that change because now there isn't this race to get the red buff. Everyone gets it. I guess that's why they they uh, kneecapped the healing so much. <laughs> My destination is sorry. The fury of the iceborn. He ghosted. Good. Okay, we can just do it. Let's do this quickly and then recall to match this mess. I'm just kind of itching to use my sums on the enemy, but our team is winning on their own, so I don't like need to. <laughs> like we just win. I will not rest. Yeah. Good. Let's keep pushing. Get this turret. Is homie doing? I just go full AP. Okay. Ash just needs to keep keep mid lane pushed in. Let's not get clumped up here. We might get 50 abilities on us. Let's get in here. Just kill one of them, bro. How do we all get slaughtered like that? I love how we executed that Viego, but that Seraphine certainly got away just in the nick of time. I probably shouldn't have chased after the Viego so much because I could have actually helped out here, but how much help are we? Because I'm pretty sure if they're just dumping all their CC abilities in there and we're there, we're basically just one more champion to get stunned. Could have maybe hooked someone off of them. And also we basically took out the Rumble and the Viego from the fight. So they essentially just lost 3v3, I think, here? I don't know. Fair enough. Let's get our Force of Nature. Should be good good uh, move speed. I'll siege this turret with the team, and that should be the end of the game. <clears throat> let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! <clears throat> Stay alert. Hey, yo, give me that move speed, boy. Uh, their team fight's pretty strong, honestly. We gotta be careful. Cause, like, you know, the Yasuo goes in, the Rakan goes in, they got the Seraphine ult. It's, it can be a mess. Yeah, I didn't want to fight there because I'd be alone. Woo! 
That's how we do, baby. Dunk fest. Let's end with this big boy wave. GG. That's that for this match. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back from our gameplay. We're up against the Arc Top. Our Volibear very graciously allowed us to go top lane instead of into jungle as jungle there is. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you, Volibear. Let's get into it. The enemy team is quite weird. They got Viego mid, which is. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what like, the strength of that is. Or, rather. Shackle support is going to be annoying, but I'd say um, we got a very much solo queue composition, right? Because if any one of the three, like me, Katarina, or Draven, gets fed, all of us can just 1v9. But overall, I'd say they have a more consistent comp in terms of just team fighting. Like, if we get into, like, a big fight with the Seraphine and the Viego and stuff, you know, things might get ugly. I don't know. They're definitely not there. Anyway, um... I mean, they got a pretty sulky composition of their own, too. Right, the Viego. Being sulky himself. Yorick, too. I'd say it's gonna be quite a volatile game. If me, Katarina, or Draven gets fed, that's, that's our win condition, essentially. Get either of these three Soul Q monsters ahead. I'll try to get myself ahead. Okay, Yorick. Not too easy to get ahead against him. I went for a Moose Speed Heavy setup with Sorcery, so that we can more easily catch up to him. All that good stuff. Make no mistake. My auto attack just went into the air, I suppose. Nice. I'm going W because I don't want to push the wave too quickly. I want to just chill. I have my orders. I'll give him that one. He loses this. Okay, what's up with my auto attacks? <laughs> my destination is clear. We queued him back, so the trading is a little even. Or the trades. I will not rest. I swear, my minions are trolling. I was kind of banking on them killing one more and getting me level 3, but they didn't. And he misses my... He dodges my Q with that. Kind of intelligent. We're not doing well on the CS front, by far. Spending too much time trying to... Like, get him. And that's taking... Time out of my... CSing. Okay, <laughs> Volibear actually popped off there. That should be a kill, I don't know... I don't think... Yeah, good. Two for one. Pretty decent. I'm gonna let this thing stick around and just CS. Not CS, but push the wave. What is wrong with my auto attacks? I swear to god. Good. It's like an extra minion that just pushes his wave for him. Or pushes it for me, rather. Okay, we died at the same time, and the wave is pushing into me. But us dying there was not good. When he goes to, I just instant went for the W to stop him and make room for the second on attack. If I didn't go for the W, he just gets out of the range of the RW, so it doesn't end well for us. I gotta use my ghost to get a kill here, though. 
He has nothing, and I have Ghost. So the second I catch him, somewhere around here, he should be as good as dead. Provided I'm not doing it into this whole minion wave. <laughs> That'd be insane. Noxus. And also no junglers around, too. It's it's another to prerequisite for me, for me being able to do that. <laughs> Gotta show this out. Okay, uh, I missed all of my cues. That was so into of me. I missed everything. If I land just one cue, he's as good as dead. Just a stupid cage. Stop me. I'm just sitting here queuing this wave. I'm gonna recall. Maybe we can stay in range here. Just barely. Get our level 6 at least. My destination is clear. Things aren't going too well. Nice! That's what I needed. Okay. Perfect. He's planning it really slowly, which is bad for us. Okay. You got maiden up. Go stay alert in what you will. Well, I'm behind him, so if Katarina comes in here, we can kill him. Won't you join? Stun him! Good stuff. I'll go top, shove it out, and then get back. That ended perfectly for us. You're dying. I mean, the lane is not, like, still messed up, mind you. Like, it's not gonna get better. <laughs> but I'd say it's decent so far. Draven got really fed. Katarina got really fed. Volibear's doing really well. He's doing better as a jungler than I'm doing as a top laner. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, funny how life works out, eh? Alright, well, Yorick has his ghost up now. I was going Eclipse. What a creature. But he has his ghost up now, so I gotta essentially wait until I have my ghost up. If I have my flash up too, then we can... Brown, bend it, brown bread him. Did she just dodge everything from me? Nice. We're essentially just waiting on him to walk in the range. The way this guy fights is that he kind of cages with my RWQ. And then he walks into his cage so I don't have time to land my actual Q. So I have to either go for a WQ with my hooks. Or just do the RW and save my Q for later. Yeah, the team's just slaughtering them. Good. They will regret opposing me. He just gets a grave for free. 
It's you they see. Fair enough. Get flash up too. Uh. <sighs> Should have just left it. All right, I guess I'm just on York duty for the entire game. Let's pick up some armor. My destination is clear. Please hit the turret. Nice. Okay, I mean. Our team is hardcore focusing the bozos. They got a bunch of. I mean, they they got slaughtered here. They're mind you, so that last part wasn't as good, but. And I hope we don't lose Dragon off that. Ooh, she's dead. Alright, I'm just gonna walk in here. In case he keeps chasing. Nice. I don't have the health to deal with this Yorick here. Never mind, he's not even going for it. Good. I'll chill back here. <laughs> I don't know. And he barely gets away. Oh my god. Maybe we just go Strybreaker. We're not doing anything in this game anyway. As far as I can do something with the slow and the wave clear. God. Strength above all. On the bright side, we're helping the team out where we can. So we're not completely useless. Don't die now! Okay. Got the Seraphine. Oh, uh, not good. Yeah, let's just get out of here. That was the real one? Huh. Alright, well, let's get this bad boy. Make no mistakes. The ruins of his Got him! Whew. What a chase. <laughs> animal on the loose! Which is funny because we have a literal animal <laughs> on our team. <laughs> like we have a bear. <laughs> but this is the animal on the loose, yeah. Me with the stupid jokes. I mean, this game is just locked down, right? When Draven and Katharina one-shot people like that, I, it's really hard for me to imagine the enemy team doing anything to us. Unless we just keep inting like that and artificially generate a carry for the enemy. Destination is clear. That could be problematic. Let's see yours going over there. <laughs> we got our strike breakout. Should be helpful. I will not rest. Wake up. You have a new task. An enemy has been slain. Scurry. 
It's kind of insane how hard he can fight, given that he has no health, no armor, no, like, maiden, almost kills me. But that's just how it is with these kinds of champs. They will regret opposing me. As long as there's something to be outplayed, you can get work done with Darius. His big kind of annoying counters are mainly champions where there is basically nothing to be outplayed. The way they just play is not outplayable. Let's get our tunneler. Let's not get Killer Rooney here. Your turn again! <laughs> Did he get even 500 with an auto attack? And he killed him! Uh, you two get out of there. Well, I can't defend bot turd because he's just gonna take it instantly with his ghouls, even so. We're setting up shop here at T2. I'll get the with rugs. They have a lot of health, huh? Step into an area where I have no vision, because that can be a great way to just get myself killed. I'm gonna just get this wave shoved in. I do not tolerate cowardice. Shotgun got me. Um, there's more of them here than us. <laughs> Shoot, ever be here today? Like, instantly. Yeah, we don't have Drape in here. Yeah, it's my bad. I shouldn't have died here. I should have just waited for the team. Ugh. Bad fight for us. Fight. Noxus will rise. Let's try to protect mid, I guess. Because we're going to Stride Breaker for utility instead of Triforce, our power to get a lot of damage out is severely hampered. Yeah, I should never build this item. I keep falling into the trap like, oh, it'll help me beat these kinds of bruiser side lanes. But the truth is, these champions are not designed to be beaten by a champion like theirs. Make no so we just mistakes. die every time. There's nothing we can do about it. Get out of here <laughs> before I get killed. Like, it's good in the 1v1, but he just fought me without Maiden or anything. He he just asked it either. <sighs> well, okay. Grave is in action. How did that still get him? I guess his model's so huge that he was still in the area for the. Bro, <laughs> just stop! Ult out! What are you doing? What is bro up to? 
Yeah, he went crazy. Okay, if he dies there, then we can't Baron. So, <laughs> be careful. And not Int. Right. I don't have R. So my effectiveness here is severely hampered. What are they doing? Oh my... Okay. <laughs> They're just so fed that it works. Amelia diff. Okay, yeah, Vegas here. I wanna fight him. If I had an IR, I'd just take the 2v1. But I don't have it. Let's get here and provide some support to the Draven. Just got bodied. Not good. I tried to help her, but I got caught in a surfing stun. Someone for me, buddy. Okay. Ugh. Dude, <laughs> so many stuns and everything. Also, that was the real one. <sighs> Should have maybe just flashed on the Talia, but then the shock was still there. Where's our AD? He's just split pushing this whole time. Why? Okay, Katarina just cooks. God, I do not like this match. It's such a mess. Ugh. I'm tempted to go for something like a Shojin, but I like I get killed so quickly that I don't think it's a decent option. Let's just go for some magic resist and hope for the best. <coughs> I'll pick up the top wave. Surely they can do it right. I also don't want to just leave the Baron completely alone. Try to get in here and put a sneaky ward first and then go clear the wave. Make no mistakes. I'm a bit of a far ways off there. So like overforced. Uh. And their range is crazy. I mean, I get what, where she's coming from, but there, one thing is forcing, like, in a normal time, and one thing is forcing when no one's around to follow up. Like, what can I do? And Milio's not even able to peel her properly. Peel her properly. Mm. That's about it. Well, I'll try to help out anyway.
Huh? That was good. I picked the right option in terms of the Shaco clone. Okay, what? Uh, he instantly dashed up to the Yorick. Get out before we get caught and killed. Yeah. Okay, I guess I help the Draven out. Gets hit by that? Come on, dog. Well, not the best chase for them, they got nothing. Aside from the Draven kill, but, you know. He wasn't part of the chase, he just died. I'll wait for my force of nature. How good is this doing? Okay, 5k already. I guess it's just Darius that that item sucks on. I do not tolerate cowardice. Well, let's go DMP, I guess. It's not ideal, because then the Katarina can just one-shot him now, instead of a Viego. <laughs> nice, they just killed all of them. Ugh, come on. It's always one step forward and two steps back with this game. I have my orders. Not the best using my flash. What is that? <laughs> my steel. The only way he dies is if they just CC him somehow. Please hit the turret. Raven, please hit the turrets. Okay, GG. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Holy. Oh, right, we're back from gameplay work resolution top. Not to. Not a particularly difficult ranged top lane to face, but a ranged top lane nonetheless, we have to respect his space. Not giving too many free auto attacks on our corpus, so that once we do catch him, we have the health to just run him down. He's running airy, which I'm not too sure about the effectiveness of. I guess he's going to try to go for just poke with Q and W, right? So we have to be careful not to give him poke in that. If we stand between him and a minion, we should avoid there being like an exact line that can damage us actually. And the the line itself does do, uh, like it covers a decent area. So we gotta be on our toes in that uh, on that front. And the good part is he's wearing flash teleport, which means that if we're like full health, we could just ghost run him down and we just get to him and kill him. So I'm going to give up the first wave, not do too much, give him a level 3, and then just run him down whilst the wave is pushing back up into him. Let's see, 800. He went for the health rune. We can heal that back. I'm running sorcery to have a bunch more boost speed to use to catch him. Exploit 
every weakness. Oh, he didn't. He just went straight Q. Okay. Didn't get hit by those double autos. a decent amount of our health. <laughs> they will regret opposing me. I'm gonna drink preemptively. to the bleed at least but I didn't play that too well Never retreat. got the kill oh he didn't get an assist that's good um I didn't play that too well I should have probably gone level four first before going for that he also just flashed into my queue there which I didn't expect usually they say their flashes for later that's fine Destination is clear. That's all right. Hooks are going to be quite tough here to land. Maybe we go like we don't go Tobbies, we go Swifties. Huh? We can go Boots. I can imagine manage his W mark because if it's on me and he hits me, he gets Moosey to get away. I'll try my best, but I don't know how slowly I can push this unless he just shoves it like an idiot. That lands on me, dog. Strength above all. That was actually a hook cringe, but I hesitated. God. That hesitation cost me the... Kind of the lane here. I don't have the health to stay here anymore. That sucks. With overwhelming force. Hecarim's also on his way. Not playing it too well, honestly. Let's just go for the toppies. It's the easier option. I'm playing the lane pretty badly, honestly. I just thought we could get a better gank off, so I sacrificed my health so that he would stay in our range, but Janna never committed to it. Not that she could have, because it's not an easy gank. She doesn't have that much moveset early. But, yeah. Could have definitely gone better. On the other end, I was basically dead there either way, so... Eh. Let's see, I might be able to just ghost up and kill him here. I'll try to. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna do an EQ here. Because he eased into my Q in melee range. And unless, I don't know, a jungler is around, he should be dead. Hecarim comes rushing in. Germania Swifties. Stay alert. Yeah, those Swifties were a bit of a 
Waste. Guess not so, because it's gonna help him when I don't have Ghost. Now let's get out of here. ASAP. My on the double. Is clear. Okay. Um, health. I guess. Aggressive stats. <laughs> Not too sure, but I guess. He gets a plate there. Not optimal. Maybe if he slows him enough, I can actually catch up to him and kill him. Bit early. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Yeah, I'm not going for this. Let's queue the cogs there for health. Let's get back to lane, shove this out, and leave. At least we don't flash or flash. So next time I have ghost up, it's a guaranteed kill. Okay, nice. He made it in time. Oh, this creature again. I'm half tempted to just permaban this thing. Because I swear, you'll never convince me that that, that creature is not overpowered. Let's, no problem, Kane girl. Just chillaxing, and I 1v9 for you. Okay. Make no mistakes. I think I know what he meant by that. Multiple interpretations, of course. As with all historical texts. Don't know where homeboy is. Oh, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing it. He's got six. Doesn't bode well. Okay, well I timed that as best as I could have. But they show up with more members, so he just naturally lost there. One for the road. <laughs> Who's mid though? It's Kaisa mid, yeah, she's a full item. Just attack one of them. Anyone would work. What are we doing here? Let's get some plates here. He overstayed a bit. How's he getting with that? That's not Triforce, that's SS3, right? Yeah. I'll get this plating, but I'm not going to go for melee auto attacks. Because Hecarim's just going to push me to the turret. There he is, right on cue. That should be a kill for us at least. The second I have my R, I'm going to just run him down.
Whew, that was close. Not that it would have had any consequence if it landed. <laughs> above all. That lands on me. I entered there. I definitely entered there. Should wait for the walk up more. Ah, oh, they're gonna die for me. I do not tolerate cowardice. Jungler comes in right on cue. Any phase rushes so my W does nothing. Lovely. I'm not playing it too well, admittedly. You just miss everything. <laughs> I still killed the Lucian, oh my god. What? What killed that? It just decided to die. Mm. Like a minion all attacked from there. What does he have? Dot damage on a turret? And it was so perfect because he got the plate gold too. <laughs> Whatever. I might just go Demas played second item. I don't know. Feels right. I'll help him out. His health is low. Or I'll help them out. They're dying. Ugh. What? Shut down. Never retreat. Okay. Lucy was getting fed. Good. There's a nice little hook. I'm not reaching that, so I might as well just get this bad boy. Not a bad kill. Yeah, he is farmed up. Uh -uh. Bam, bam. Definitely doing DMP second. It'll make me a bit less of a threat in fights, but I'll be able to get to fights faster. And these are the kind of fights where I feel like my positioning matters like a lot more than my power. I don't want to take it from you, man. But if you want to orders. not take it, that's on you. It's on you! Not me! Not me! Alright, now our Lucian Top has a support. Excellent. What is this? Yeah, it's the Kiki Shard in four essence. Yep, they're, they're, they're still pushing. All right. I do not tolerate cowardice. Guess we're just giving it all up. Cool. Yeah. What do we get mid lane, by the way? Because if we just collapse on them, we just straight destroy them. Janna's now doing damage, apparently. Nice. Yeah, he's just perma on him. Yikes. Death by my hand. 
Twitch is going to AP. Okay. It's more early power for him to work with for us. Let's get this wave. Yeah, they got so much backline damage here with Smolder scaling up, and he's now a backline threat too. Ekron's doing pretty well farm-wise. We're kind of struggling on all fronts. God, she struggles so much to put the Fury down. Okay. Cool. Stay alert. Just barely lives. Oh my god. Oh. I'm in it to win it. I'm in it to play this until it's bitter end. I mean, that's a kill. Okay, good. That's some loosey goosey teleporting. They should get out of there. <laughs> God. The Zill R. Okay. Hecarim, please don't 1v9. can try to do Baron. We do it fast, but heck, we can just straight up steal. Okay. Um, we sacrifice everyone, but we get it on two. Should be a kill for the cane. That's not as bad as I. That's not as bad as I thought, thought it would be. Okay, I'm <laughs> stuttering, man. I'm kind of not useful, which sucks. Like the big issue is if I go and fight the Hecarim there. And I hook him. I hook him closer to the Baron, and he can just smite it. So I can't just go in and fight him like normal. Nice. Good. I'll get this wave here. Oh, where's the extend, boys? Let's not die there. Let's see if I can get this turn. Probably not, but I'll try. <laughs> I will not rest. Yeah, no. I try to do some cheese here. Zillion shows up. Not a good ending for me. What was that? It's the around the enemy support damage, bro. Whenever you're around the enemy support, you just take damage. Make no you didn't know about that. 
Garasterix second. Then I guess like a randoms or something. Dashing towards me is a hella brave move. Okay, I don't have Twitch with me anymore, so I can't kill him. So we're healing with rip buff. Well, he's beelining it there. Well, let's just get the... I kind of want AD right now, so... Not go Ruby Crystal. Twitch pushes that. I'll push out top. Thing is, I kind of need to help them get this turret, but... I'm too busy, like... With everything else. Also, doesn't Twitch just one-shot him here? Never mind, he gets one shot. Can't there to help, though. Good. Never retreat. They got the hacker. Okay, nice G. Our Kaisa's fed, Kane's fed, and we've shut down their carries. Now all that's left to do is to try not to feed the smolder. Seems we won't be scaling anytime soon. Whoops. I have my orders. Still chasing. No. Good. He's dead though. That's for sure. I kind of want to farm a bit longer so that I can get my stacks in one go. Yeah, we're down members. Nice! Okay, that's really useful. Good. Good pick, good pick, good pick. I'll push this out and then head to the dragon to help. But the real reason I'm pushing this out is so I don't frontline. I can have a flank route available to me. When this... Ahem, ahem, pops off. I didn't have the range for it. Good. Get the wave recall in, in the shop. <laughs> Maybe Death Dance is a good option too. Yeah. I'll get the armor just in case we flex into something else. Let me see. Armor, armor, armor. Um. Randos isn't too useful, it's just useful against Lucian. That's them dead. I'm just sprinting to the solution. <laughs> Full sprint. All right, let's end. Or not.
Okay, she's speed minions. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't too instrumental in this win, but we did a few good things, so I'm not too like upset with the match. It was Loki just like, oh, top lane in that kind of match, right? I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. All right, we're back with another match. I'm unfortunately running default instead of Wood King, so I hope our mechanics don't suffer too much. <laughs> I don't know. I love Wood King so much nowadays that. I can't play with anything except it, but default Darius is basically the same animation base, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let's go fist bump, boys. Can I fist bump someone? There we go. Bump these fists, boys. Can I get more fist bumpers here? Nice. <laughs> such, a, such a useless feature. <laughs> Alright, um... What is this? Mitch Dunn caught a body next week, a week ago. Fine. Uh oh. Okay, let me check something. <sighs> okay, so that sound that I was hearing is from outside my apartment and not inside it sounded like like the like the faucet was running water the faucet not the faucet <laughs> all right ergot let's i'm just gonna be a warden's mail first item <laughs> i don't care if it's annoying ergot's annoying hmm. he doesn't have a good knife though didn't get that Come on, dog. Strength above all. Hot diggity dog. This place is magnificent. <laughs> what is this? Am I destined to miss one of these? Nope, good. That chipped me. Nope. <laughs> that did. First, the bleed kills him. Yeah, if he doesn't get level 3, there's no way he survives my bleed damage there. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, but because he was taking so long to lead me into that under turf flip, it just gave me time to get enough damage on to just straight kill him. Also, I had a lot of minions there, if you guys paid attention. Also, I'm not even paying attention because the entire enemy team got slaughtered down here, apparently. Kali's down, Malkai's died twice, Nautilus has died once. Ooh -wee. You'd love to see it. Let's try to kill the Urgot here with our Ghost. Um, it's gonna be tough because he has a big wave pushing in. So, yeah, and that's warded. Just ping it. Is he shoving it though? He's kinda slow pushing it, but I think he wants to get a good trade off on us. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't wanna lose like my entire health bar here. With overwhelming force. It's a 3v1. We just kill him. Or they kill him. I do not okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Another kill by... Kiana. Good. I mean, a fed mid laner is nothing to... Nothing bad. My only regret is that we got nothing from that, but... We kind of had to walk after them because we don't want to give them the easy escape route. Of just like going up the tri 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 brush, this thing. Is he even a tri brush anymore? Alright, yeah, my auto attacks are definitely suffering. Because we're not on the WK, I'll definitely try to switch. 
Also, we didn't farm well enough, so we can't afford the Warden's Mail. Can I just... Nah, I'm not gonna my do that. I'm gonna wait for my glowing moat. What? There we go. Good. Let's head down here. Lily is taking the Void Grubs. She takes them quickly, but if the Yorgar gets here, he can body her. Though I don't think so, because she has the move speed to just kite him away. He can't just all in kill her without his ultimate. I, will not rest. I don't even know where he is. <laughs> I got the golden XP for that. I didn't even do anything. Okay. Let's ward up. Gonna play slow. Never retreat. Did he just wait for me to show up? Or, or he also recalled? I guess. Yeah. Don't think there was any reason for him to recall there, though. Because I was out of lane. He could have just farmed. Well, doesn't matter, does it? Good. I should have played a bit zony. Never mind, he's got his no ultimate. Mistakes. It's the thing we're trying to avoid, giving him the XP for the ult. But I wasn't aware there was only like one minion until he got it. And the boys are in town. How about this ward, huh? What are you gonna do about that? Huh? that apparently Eep. well we are just stuck here Strength above all. wonderful well we're kind of just stuck here we can't walk up at all because if we do we get gankaroonied so until the maka just shows up on the map we, <laughs> we can't do anything uh, quite the annoyance. Hmm. Holly's playing a bit. No, she's just fighting. Never mind. I have my orders. Oh, if I get that hook, he's just dead there. I should have ghosted for it. I should have just ghosted for him. We know for one thing that Maka is not here, so let's get that control ward. She's she's dead here. Yikes. <sighs> and Akali, that behind actually has the meat to kill her there from full. How is this worth, Kian? <laughs> it isn't, but sometimes you gotta just brawl. That was lucky. I don't think a dive is going to work out here, pal. He's running out of mana, though. I cancel my recall so that if he does come back after I'm done, we can kill him. I will you think I was born yesterday, boy? <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Alright, um, let's get out of here. 
I'm still gonna get that warden's mail. You can you can never be too safe with Urgot. I know he's zero two, but if he lands the right fight, he does just have the damage to shake kill me. Unless we have this bad boy, which we do now. <laughs> okay. At least we're farming well. It's just we're not snowballing because he's playing super safe. And I'm not doing good enough of a job of punishing him. Like, I gave him that opportunity to live there, which sucks. Shouldn't have done that. Just toss Nick you here. Should be the gold. Missing CS, like a boss. Okay, let's see if I can get a fight going now. I have Flash, so if I hook him, it should be the end of him. He went top, he's see has more move speed than me. Strength above all. What is that Titanic Hydra? Probably. I am low-key snoozing here. Teams just automatically winning on their own. I have my orders. It's not easy to go for a freeze because he clears the wave so quickly when I slow push it. At least we have health in here. He's definitely setting up a gank. Of course. <sighs> I love top lane. I guess I could have flashed his E, but the main problem there is that I don't have to just outplay him, I have to outplay the person that's coming into gank. And the second I saw that it was Akali, I, I just kind of gave up automatically because there's no way you, I'm going to be wanting both of them. Destination is clear. Even if I flash everything or dodge his ult, they just kill me. Well, at least the Kiana is just going to want to unite this. Ball is not doing too badly. I will. Yeah, homeboy's dead. So is he actually? Uh oh. What a play style. Never retreat. Are you serious? Oh, he has no R, so I can actually just go for this. I got to have R, <laughs> which is when I knew they did not have the damage to kill me there. That should be like a soul-crushing defeat, like I don't know where to go from there. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they've been through worse this match specifically. So maybe they still have the will to fight this to the bitter end. Fist bump, yeah! Noxus. Fist bump! The bumping of the fists. Maybe got Tabby's after all on top of 
Warden's Mail. Like, the tenacity sounds good too, but... I really don't want to give this creature the chance to come back that hard. And if he does skate... Huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah, let's give him a thousand more gold and see how playable the match is. <laughs> no yeah, no, okay. He just gets a full item out of that. Ah, uh, that is horrifying. Okay, got R soon. And we get Triforce damage here. At least that's an easy win. Oh my god, the whole squad is in here. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay. I'd say I feel bad for him, but <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I do not. Hmm. I'll go to the Tobbies either way. Tobbies, and then we build double health. Or, yeah, no, let's just take the, or keep the D-Shield. Hmm. I'm trying to think of ways, where, like, if this goes wrong, then they win, but... If, let's say, the Kiana int, and then I int, and then... Stamolar gets both the kills on us, then he can win. Or they can. God, almost! Almost. Okay. We just- I, I just did the thing that I specifically said would cause the end of this game. These Kianas in flanking distance. Or we just got ran down like dogs. At least I probably took the kill. Actually lands on her. Okay. I should have probably just gone for the smolder, but on the other hand, he would just fly away like he just did there. So I don't know. I, I maybe should have just straight roll to them as soon as I had the chance. Let's go, bot. Nice. Fun item. Never retreat. Let me see. I mean, it's on hit, but I'm not sure what that changes. Like, I read the patch notes, and they were like, oh, we're making this on hit specifically because of Ergot. <laughs> Please tell me Smaller doesn't get that kill. Holy. That'd be disastrous. They're dead. They're dead. Just run, Lilia. I'll try to get this turret, since they're all up there. Alright, we're low-key in thing. So I got TP. We didn't get mid turret. Well, he should have gone for it, but whatever. Doesn't matter. At this point. He 
just dies like that. Akai is getting actually fed now, which is not good. It's just an, like an artificial problem that didn't need to be a problem. I'm wondering whether I want to step up and push here while they're getting to this pressure. Strength above all. Yeah, I'm not getting hooked into whatever is in store for me. We got Ghost up so we can pop off here. Sorry. <laughs> Guess I'm tanking. How'd they get the last dragon? Who knows? Okay, I'll be there to support this mess. Free-ish kill. Okay, I can't reach that, so I'm just going to go for the mid wave. She just went for that. Why? Okay, now we leave. Okay, I didn't get my reset off that. <sighs> if I honestly, I would have just died there. Like, there's no way I can reach that fight, which is why I don't know why we're just keeping, like, just running with it. Ugh, whatever. He's gonna get killed instantly. Wonderful. Let's get some magic resist. I think I'll just tank up. No bruiser threat item. Yeah, we're kind of slipping this game through our fingers. Gotta focus more. I think we definitely have to carry the next fight because we're just straight up losing fights. Jin's getting killed here constantly for free. Kiana is just constantly inting deaths for no reason. And I'm not effective enough to make a difference. Okay, let's not get caught here. Jin, just ult of Ford. I don't know if I, like, hooking the Mako there was, was a good idea. Alright, he's actually back, never mind. The thing is, ideally I'd be better bot or something farming, but I do not want to leave these guys alone to their own devices. Because that will just end up in us getting bodied. Bro. They're gonna get killed. I'll go, but they're gonna get killed. Can we catch him? Waikiki waikiki. Nope, Kiana is alone. Never mind, she actually got the kill on the Akali. Good. I don't have some, so I can't do much against the Smolder, but... This is such a mess, oh my god. My 
my orders. Let's see. Okay, no need for me to recall just yet. Nothing significant can be bought with this. Uh, let's finish our Force of Nature. I feel like the Akali is a bit of a emergent threat right now. That's a dead mile. Okay, good. Try to see what I can do. I can get the rest, I guess. Destination is clear. <laughs> no one cares. Let's show it doesn't go to Baron. Okay, I have both my sums up and everything else up too, so we should be able to get some work done at least. This should have 200 health, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> uh, you're paying 400 for 5% move speed. Yuck. Let's go. Surely we're turning here, right? Also, that hook is no use. No one's gonna be able to follow up. Uh. Nice. Okay. Okay, what? Jesus. Okay. Oh. I got killed before I could even do much. Holy. Can they stop the They still has a they still have objective bounty. Okay. I think at that point it's more important to turn <laughs> on the enemy. Why do I just keep getting these crushing annoying defeats in these videos every time, bro? At least we still have our flash, but I don't know what I can do against this. He's almost full build. Ugh. And he's going like health items too, kinda. So I can't just like vaporize him with flash W when I have an Oxymite. He's got 4,000 health! He's tankier than me at this point. That's one for one, I guess. Okay. Uh. Okay, that works. Let's just end. Listen, listen. That's intelligent, isn't it? Three. 
Everyone wait, Jin has to re reload. God. Man, we almost ended the game. I try my best to just focus the turrets. Maybe I should just kill the Urgot, got an Oxymite, then I could have ended faster. Ah! That's my bad. <laughs> oh lord. The way he just killed the... or got there was just disrespectful, honestly. I guess I'm going on a theme as... I don't get much use out of finishing Frozen Heart because I just got this for the Urgot and... This creature... Oh my god, what? I will not rest. Like... I seriously hope Noah thinks that... This is okay. It's like Kogma, but he has mobility. The whole idea with Kogma is that he has no mobility. So you can just jump him and kill him if he doesn't get help from his team. I mean, you can do the same to Smolder, but... It's harder. So a tank with mobility who can cross walls and also execute everyone. Nice. Jinkies, bro. Jinkies. Maybe do something with Baron. No red buffs for me. Let's not get caught here, please. Just need to get around them and get the Nexus. Can more easily be done when I have my Flash. So I can basically sweep her up to one of these walls, flash over and just run in. Because going around is too much of a time investment. But I need the smaller to be out of the picture. If he's there, he kills me too quickly for me to even get the Nexus to like half health. But it's gonna heal, right? Nexus heal. She tried, she tried, she tried, she tried. Not gonna flame that. Well, Smolder's gonna get full health, so that sucks. Hope Kiana R comes back in time for us to use that Nexus. The 20 seconds. Let's not get wiped again. I'd say we try to waste time here. Alright, she's back in the action. I also have flash up in 40. I can maybe go for a flash hook on the smolder. Why are we starting this? You gotta be kidding me, man. I didn't have my flash up. He can maybe delay something, but I don't think he's gonna end. I think it's over. <sighs> got caught. Uh. <laughs> You're a failure, bro. Please. That Kali Zonia stopped me from killing her, but even if she did die there, I doubt I can do too much. <sighs> he flashed the wall, though. Mm. 
Our destination is clear. Fights they can't win. Got G8. How many times has he changed build this game? GA. Yikes. So tempted to go in to go for like a flash hook or something. Mysterious don't get anything. Honestly. Okay, <laughs> Pike! Come on. Hit the... Okay. Smolder's back at least. Uh. That one's on me. I got caught. Oh, they, they kind of entered. They kind of entered. They kind of entered. We don't need the wave. We don't need the wave. Can't kill him because he's too tanky. <laughs> he actually killed the Akali. Dude, I hate this game so much. This is true damage, dog. Ugh. How can an ADC be the tankiest person on the map? I don't get how this is fair. Also, does this even do anything? Can he just cancel all my damage? Because that's true. Yeah. Let's just finish that first. I think I'm gonna go Kanic Worker and Ramp. Make no mistakes. This literally just talks the whole time, like, come on, dude. Thirty-five. Sounds good. If only actually led to anything. Exploit every weakness. <laughs> Strength above all. Two man mission to hell. They got him. Stay alert. <laughs> I have my orders. Oh. <sighs> Come on! <sighs> Man. 
man. We actually lost this game. I didn't take it seriously enough. Uh, not an easy game to do much as there is though. Smolder just counters us. GG. Whatever, at least he's four minutes extra in the video. Oh, right, we're actually gameplay we're up against Jack's top. Because I'm banning Vayne top nowadays, that leaves this creature to be open. So that's gonna be fun. <clears throat> he's running flash. I mean, I mean he's already ignite lethal tempo. So he's gonna be quite dangerous in lane. We gotta respect him. And try our best to put our wave right around here so that we can farm kills out of it. We can't open with Q, we can't open with Hook. We gotta just wait for him to essentially int and stay out of his auto attack range, otherwise we just lose. We stay in his R range. We can kinda try to cheese our W's, but if he blocks the W, then <laughs> that sets us up for dying. And we have to sacrifice our Hook in order to survive, which is <clears throat> more than a third of our mana pool. She's setting up the rocks, I see. Nice little Venn diagram. Ooh. I like how it highlights the the rock zone that she's currently in. <clears throat> Strength above all. Can't just take the aggro. I'm not dealing with that. <clears throat> Tell me he's not gonna cheese me. Nope. I like how after they change the map, nobody cheeses anymore. Like in the tri brush. Okay. Get a minion's noise on them. trade so far just mana is a big problem here because we gotta sacrifice our hook every time it counter strikes I will not rest. Mm, ease up Okay, that's his flash gone. <clears throat> Perhaps I should have ghosted and got him ghost with flash instead of flash with flash. By the RW, once I hook him, gets me the kill. Gonna war. Not, not war. Um, I'm gonna drink my pot <clears throat> and play the lane. As long as I don't catch a Jax Counter Strike stun, I should be able to avoid the Yi Gang. Exploit every weakness. <clears throat> Use topside now. Gotta be careful. Hmm. Good. If I don't tank that turret shot, I'm still in a position of strength, but now I'm in a position of weakness because you can just ignite kill me. We have to recall. Bad for me. Also bad for me that I messed up my EQ. If I land my EQ there, I just ghost after him and kill him. I have a very big mental block in this matchup that prevents me from doing too well, so I have to just get over it. I'll try my best. On the bright side, because... He had to push a cannon. I get plenty of time to get back to lane here. <clears throat> we lose basically just one more melee, and then the and then not even the cannon. We get it XP. He does get a slightly better recall than us, though. Of course, it went for the lowest health minion. <clears throat> a 
lane's in a decent spot. We can try to play our trades out of here, but the turret is helpful. Sort of. Pretty quiet game. Nothing's popping off so far. <clears throat> Knocked it. I thought I'd have my Noxie Might, but he actually managed to block my W there, but not the auto attack after. Oh my god, dude! How does he do that much damage, dog? Uh, I almost killed him there. I should have just kept running and waited for my hook. That was the Jax Q. Just in the nick of time. That was me being greedy there. So did my Q not land? I don't think so. I don't think so. I guess I'm turret. Or he has to crash it. Alright, let's play the lane really slowly then. Try to wait for it to get up here. He has level 6, so I'm not sure what I can do here, but... They're both here. No way Jack stays. <clears throat> without him being here. But him staying to push the lane is quite decent for me. My destination is clear. He's gonna get my dream wave state sooner. Okay, let's get back. Corner him. Okay, I'll, I'll walk to the Talia here. Tell me she can survive this. No, she cannot. I have my orders. He has no boots. I should catch up to him. Nice. That's a bounty too. I unfortunately lose my pretty little wave state. So he can't fight the Jax, but it kills a kill. <clears throat> That's Children's Turret then. The main problem is that while I can trade against them, I'm so low on mana. It's not going to be easy for me to just stay in lane. <laughs> Once I get my level up, I should have. Decent mana to work with. Not gonna go for that. He punishes it. Yeah, he's not even trying to play this well. Being impatient with the minions. Good. He couldn't get too much damage off on us. So it was a worth CS for the cannon. If I hook him there, I might get a good... No, I don't. I don't have an ult yet. Me. Man, mana problems is theirs is so depressing. God. He just straight up stat check kills me there. He had his flash too. Uh, not good. On the other end, he did have the better recall than me. I just had Tubby, whereas he had a Phage and Longsword. Mm. 
I should have just kited far enough away and expected the flash counter strike. My bad. <sighs> bad, bad, bad. <clears throat> I was literally standing in the same, same spot as before. I'm not liking the look of this match. FED is going to be a nightmare for our team. We don't have a lot of good CC. Not sure how much my hook can do. Should be some void grabs for us. Thank God for bone plating. I'm just going to disengage. He ulted. I'll take that. Decent state here. If I can land a few kills, I can get back to lane. <clears throat> Exploit every weakness. Nice. That's exactly what I needed. Also, it's all warded. I'm not sure how effective any of this is. I'm dead here. Noxus will rise. God. You flash for me. Get my Triforce at least. I really don't like this match. I think he's just gonna 1v9. Cause like look at our CC here, right? My hook is the fastest CC we have, and that's a huge problem. Like, <laughs> Darius cannot be the main CC of the team. Like, her rock push thing, virtually useless against Yi. So is her E. So is, so is Pike's like Q and his E. It's like, all of the CC we have gets countered by Yi's Q. So if he's killing everyone, then we can't CC him to stop him. Like, we have CC on basically every champion except Kai'Sa, but it's trash CC. So he's just gonna kill everything. And that sucks. Guys, he's there, he's gonna kill both of you. Well, Jax was mid, so I guess I'll shove out top. She has no mana for anything. I don't know. Good. Let's get some XP off that. 
closer to our level 11. I'll show this out too. Just time wants to roll around in use jungle. in the jungle and they still got killed uh. are you serious how's it fair that you can kill me so quickly god what is this champion, man? Like, I did everything right there, and he still just kills me. Oh, God. Okay, what could I have done better? Maybe if I did two R attacks and then hook and then ult, I could have killed him. Like, I hook him after his Q. But the thing is, what he could do if I don't do that is... During my one hour attack, he could just Q to dodge it, so now he's three stacks. And the same thing basically happens again. God. I will not rest. It's quite an infuriating match. Let's get down there, maybe we can help with the... Uh... Break. I have my but Talia isn't heading down there, so I don't know what's happening. She is, okay. Well, let's try to mess this up and lose quickly. Yeah, we gotta just work with a, a range. Which doesn't seem to be doing us much good. Stay on there. There's 1000% of Shaco Box in there. Never retreat. I'll just go bot and farm the wave. If I have Ghost, I can just run this Ezreal down though, so that's good. But if he has like a Shaco Box around, then I can't. Okay. There's no counterplay into that! What am I supposed to do? He just kills me like nothing. Like I'm doing all these plates spinning and he presses Q and it does 500 damage. And that doesn't kill him. God. This one's over. Let's just FF quickly. I don't see a feasible way for us to win this match. Thank God. Over with fast. Whatever. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.